ready to learn how to thread your brand new sewing machine the right way? Good, because this step is the most important when you're just getting started. Because if you don't thread your machine the right way, you're not going to be able to sew anything. Ugh. Okay, so let's make sure that you get this done the right way. Now, if you're brand new to sewing and you're learning how to thread this so that way you can sew your own clothes, then be sure to hit the subscribe button below because all of my videos are how to sew your own clothes from home. So you're definitely going to want to know when I drop new content, okay? So now, when it comes to threading your machine, this is going to happen in three steps. The first is winding the bobbin. The second is threading the top of your machine and the third is threading the bottom because your machine actually uses two threads to sew clothing or anything. <laughs> okay, so let's see what step one looks like. So for this step, you're going to need a spool of thread. You can get these at any uh, fabric store. And you're just going to put it on the spindle on the back of your sewing machine. We're going to pull it across to this side of our sewing machine and we're going to look at these two diagrams. They're going to tell you exactly what to do. Now you'll see that one has a dashed line and one has a solid line. This is true for every sewing machine I've ever sewn with. The dashed line is for threading the bobbin and the solid line is for threading your machine. So as I said, step one is threading the bobbin. So we're going to follow the dashed line first. So this shows us that we're going to go under this silver piece then we're going to go around this circular silver piece <laughs> and then down towards the front at an angle. So perfect, looks good. Then we're going to move over to the second diagram where we see the number two and it shows that we're going to put the thread through the bobbin. So I'm going to take my bobbin here and I'm going to the end of my thread and I'm just going to carefully <laughs> poke that thread through the hole on the top of this bobbin. Okay, so it should look like this. Perfect, just like the diagram. <laughs> and then once we have it in this position, we're going to take the bobbin and put it onto this little spindle. And then you see number four written here. We're going to push, like the arrow shows us, push this whole thing towards the bobbin winder stopper. Awesome. Now all we need to do is hold the thread straight up and press our foot pedal. And you'll see it automatically starts winding. Now once it's wound around a couple of times, you can just cut off this thread that you're holding and continue winding until the bobbin is full. Now the bobbin is full when it stops spinning. <laughs> So you'll see here that my machine just stops suddenly. That's the bobbin being full. So once that happens, you can just push this whole bobbin back the other direction. You'll see this, there it goes. You can pull the bobbin up and off, cut your thread, and then you have a beautiful wound bobbin. Yay, you! Awesome. Now that we have the spool of thread and we have our bobbin, we are ready to start threading the machine. But before we jump in, I just want to know what sewing machine do you have? I'd love to know which one you decided on to start your sewing journey. So let me know in the comments below and then let's see how to thread the top of your sewing machine. Okay, the first step of threading your machine is making sure your presser foot is not down like I have it now. Move it to the up position. And then the next thing we need to check is we need to move our needle using the hand wheel here on the side. And as we move this, we want to keep an eye on the thread take up lever. And that's that silver part right here. And you'll see that as I move the hand wheel towards me, always towards the front of the machine, that that thread take up lever is moving up and down. We want to move this until it's in its highest position. Okay, so once you have it as high as it will go, 
We're going to put our thread onto the spindle again. We're gonna pull it over towards the silver thing where we saw the diagrams just like before. But this time we're gonna follow the solid line. So we're gonna come underneath the silver piece. Then we're going to go forward through this first cutout in the front of the sewing machine. And you see this number three here with the U arrow? We're just gonna make a big U turn around this. Come up to the top of our machine again. And we're going to go along the right hand side of this cutout, along the top, and then down the left. That will make sure that we get our thread caught behind that thread take up lever. Perfect. Okay, now down through the second cutout in the front of your sewing machine. And now we're gonna zoom in on the needle. So down here at the needle, we need to put the thread behind this silver bar right here. And the easiest way to do it is to hold your thread like this, and then just gently push it behind that bar. Okay, and now the last step for this is to thread the needle. And this is really easier if you cut the end of your thread. It will make it nice and clean and smooth so it goes through the needle more easily. And then you can just manually line it up with the needle, with the hole in the needle. But if your needle's not in a good position, use that hand wheel on the side. Move it as high as the needle will go to make this easier for yourself. Then just push that thread through there. I know I say just, it can be a little tricky. But once you've gotten it through, then you have threaded the top of your sewing machine. Now I just really wanna quickly point out this piece right here. If your sewing machine has this, and most newer sewing machines do, it's called an automatic needle threader. And you wrap your thread around this thing and it will automatically pull the thread through the needle for you. So if your machine has that, if you're interested in learning how to use it, Check the link in the description. I have a how-to video specifically for that feature. Now that the top thread is done, we need to move on to the bobbin. So down here is my bobbin, and you can look. This is what mine looks like. Now we have wound the bobbin, and we have threaded our top thread. Good. One more step, and your machine will be ready to start sewing. Before we jump in, I showed you that area beneath the needle on my sewing machine. I have a question. Does your machine look like my machine? As in under the needle, that area that I pointed out to you. Let me know in the comments. Because if you said yes, then you have what's called a top load bobbin. And most newer sewing machines have this style of bobbin. If your answer is no, don't worry, I have a video just for you. In the description, I have a how-to video on loading the front load bobbin. So be sure to check that out. But if you answered yes, that your machine looks like mine, then keep watching, because I'm gonna show you how to insert this bobbin in the next step. The first thing we wanna do is remove this cover. So we're just gonna pull this little button to the right, like the arrow shows us, and you'll see that the cover pops up. Now we can just grab it and remove it. Then we can reach down here and grab out the empty bobbin. It's so easy. <laughs> now we're just going to grab our full bobbin, but before we insert it, we wanna make sure we look at this diagram. Your machine should have a sticker like this one, and it will tell you the right way to insert this. So this diagram says that I should have the thread coming off counterclockwise. That's what I did, then I inserted it. Now the diagram says that I should go under this little plastic arm. So I'm gonna go under there, and then it shows that I go up and around, down, and then pull it towards the right. And when I pull it towards the right, it's actually going to cut the thread for me. Amazing, look how clean everything is. Now all that's left to do is put this cover back in. So this little tab here on the left side, we're just gonna line that up under this silver rectangle, tuck it in there, get everything nice and lined up, and then press down on that plastic cover, and everything is ready to start sewing. 
You did it. Your sewing machine is now officially threaded. Ah, I'm so excited for you. Now, if you have any problems or questions, let me know in the comments below. And a quick tip that's really helpful is if for any reason your sewing machine doesn't look exactly like mine or it's just a little bit different, check your manual, okay? Your sewing machine came with one and 100%, if you have questions about your specific machine, the answers will be there, okay? So please check your manual. Let me know if you have any questions below. And if this video helped you, give it a like. I'd love to know if it's uh, useful for you. <laughs> and if you are brand into sewing and you still have questions after threading your machine, I put together a five-step guide to get started sewing. So I have everything you need in there from threading your machine to setting your tension perfectly, which is guaranteed to be your next question, <laughs> and how to start sewing straight. I've got some free printables in there that make your life really easy. So if you'd like access to that guide, check the link in the description. I'll send it right to your inbox. If you want to keep going right now with learning about sewing, then you can check out either this Sewing 101 playlist where I teach you about all the different features on your sewing machine, or you can jump into this beginner-friendly project and start sewing it right now. Whatever you choose, be sewing. <laughs>